Vase are going to layer the mid to B smoke. So Frozen throws the first one, then Rain comes out door, throws the second one that lands behind the first one that lands deeper into CT spawn. You'll see the CTs try to break open the smoke, but little do they know, Vase has two smokes up. So even though one smoke breaks, the other one is still up, giving full cover. If you want a free frag, do what G2 does here. Monsi standing behind single has a flash lineup set up for Nico, who's behind the wall, peeks at the flash, gets a freebie. Faze have an aggressive CT set where one player pushes up mid and then Frozen holds his flash to flash over the wall for that player to peek. If you're playing on top of this box in CT and the mid to B smoke comes in, you can go ahead and drop down back right of the box in front of it and you'll be behind the cover of the smoke and then pop out right after and the T's might not expect you. This is how you pick mid like a pro. So Sheer is going to self boost himself. Then he's going to jump on top of this catwalk ledge to peek towards Sui, which he's going to get this opening pick. This is the new way to smoke avant-garde after the dust 2 update. So you're going to stand in this corner, aim there, then crouch afterwards, jump throughout. And then you just throw the standard setup smoke. You can see the T's are boosting behind that smoke. And then here we get a better view of the avant-garde smoke. Device gets smoked off mid. He's going to break open the smoke and he's not going to see anybody as the smoke comes back up. Stown here from short is going to throw his nade, breaks open the smoke, which sets up device for that frag. Quick word from today's sponsor, Skin Place. Skin Place is a platform where you can sell your CS2 skins instantly and quickly withdraw your money. All you need to do is log in Steam, select the skins you want to sell, pick your cash out method from all these different options, then click receive money and in a couple of seconds, you get your payment in your account. Don't forget to use code NART to get an extra 3% when selling your skins. Use the link in the description to sell your skins now. Astralis have a setup where three players are on short and two players push up. Before they swing around this corner to peek long, you see device throw a flash. This is the fast long a door smoke from elevator standing aim here jump throw. A lot of pro teams are choosing to throw this version of the smoke. This is how you Molotov off the boost. Go ahead and stand next to this wall, aim at the bottom of this tree, then left click throw. Cloud9 have an interesting way to go mid to B that involves this smoke from Icy who is going to smoke off window with this jump throw, then he's going to flash his teammates out window. They pair it up with the mid to B smoke and they're going to use these two smokes to try to go through door as the window smoke blocks off any CTs peeking from that way. Axel from top mid is going to smoke B window, stand in the middle of these barrels, aim at that tip, then W jump throw. He then lurks up short to drop down CT while his teammates execute B from tunnels. Twist smokes mid door from outside long, stand behind this wall. You're going to aim here, then crouch while crouch jump throw. The smoke lands on top of the door, extending all the way down. Another way Twist smokes mid door is positioned with this line on the wall. Then he's going to aim above that dark mark on the wall there, afterwards jump throw. This is how you Molotov ramp in sight using one Molotov. I've seen this from JKS. Go ahead and position with that line of the R. Then you're going to, without moving your mouse, go ahead and stand to the left of this box behind it. Then left click throw. You can see Molotov cover sight as well as ramp. JT makes a great play as ET is trying to delay time by crouching inside the car area where JT jumps on top of the box instead of running towards that T. There's a new way to throw the B lurk smoke from spawn. Go ahead and stand next to this wall, aim top middle of this building, run forward and jump throw. This is such an easier lineup than the other one. Great play from Emma who Molotovs off window, smokes bottom con, and he's gonna go through the smoke to the top right of this ledge here where he peeks behind the cover of the smoke to look towards A. The smoke acts as a one way but also gives them cover from short as they go up con. If you're making your way up catwalk and the CT short smokes you off, one way to counter this is to jump on top of this rail where you can see over the short smoke. Kisrato playing behind the smoke is not expecting anyone to jump up. This is an insane palace lurk smoke. You're going to put your crosser like this without moving your mouse, get behind this pillar, then left click throw. You can use the same lineup for a flash. You could come safely out of palace towards balcony. This smoke is going to waterfall down. The smoke will block off any CT that is hiding towards dark. Mouse CT set up towards B where exertion fast boosts Jimmy to push into apps. While after the boost exertion is going to set up with this left click throw flash that will blind any T's inside kitchen. Nico gets smoked out palace. He has a set lineup to Molotov off dark. He's going to aim as shown, then without moving his mouse, backs up into the wall, then left click throw. This Molotov, as you can see, is going to cover both top and bottom. 200 IQ setup from Monte. Krasnos jumps spawn and he throws a smoke while Sneaker pushes up. He fake spams and it's going to take the attention away that nobody's pushed up and Sneaker is able to get two. 
Moto from inside B Apartments is going to smoke off bottom connector and how OG used this smoke is that the three players don't have to use their smoke so they can come out mid safely to split B. Frozen's pushed up the market window and he spots a CT towards bench so Brokey is going to come out and wall bang that CT. Body throws the half wall banana smoke early on and how Fnatic used this smoke is Blade Meth and his teammates are going to push up towards logs and they're going to boost behind the cover of the smoke so Blade Meth can see over the smoke and gets the entry frag. G2 also thrown the same smoke early on but you're going to see that Nico does not need a boost because of how the smoke is positioned. Top banana car retake nades from exit who's on top first oranges, he's positions as shown, stands up, aims here for the smoke, left and right click throw for the car molotov, aim here, left click throw. The interesting thing about the smoke is that it lands on top of half wall. The T's will not be able to boost on top of logs to see over the smoke. Aggressive banana take, throw a smoke for half wall, throw a molotov behind half wall so the CT's can't push up towards car. Push through your own smoke as the molotov is going to end, have a teammate flash where you peek around the corner. Mobs makes a great aggro play at the start of the round behind the cover of the instant mid smoke. He's going to push inside window of apartments where he pushes through the Molotov and he's going to go unnoticed and peeks at the perfect time. Jimmy wants to hold the balcony jump up so he's going to Molotov the end of the hallway here to give him some time to continuously to hold this jump up and he's going to go over towards the other side once the Molly is going to begin to fade and peeks with a nice position. Mob shows the perfect mid flash from Mexi, so he's just going to aim at this circle thing on the door, jump throw, the flash is going to blind any CTs holding mid. If you're playing towards new box triple and you have a Molotov, you can easily delay the T's by throwing it off this right of the wall, which is going to land towards front sight. If you only want to smoke off bottom banana from CT spawn, stand in front of the chair, aim here, then W, jump throw. This smoke won't cover off the stairs ramp area, but it does land deeper towards banana covering all its area here. Rinko goes for the banana peak. Before he does so, he pops open the windows. This is so the smoke can land farther back behind him so the smoke doesn't get in his view. Mazi easily clears out backside by jumping on top of the cold where he can check any CTs that's crouched behind the back left box. Easy way to Molotov dark, stand in front of the half wall, aim at this part of the wood. Afterwards, jump through the Molotov will cover that back corner. If you want to set up your teammates to push down Banana, throw these flashes from Nico, who's standing at the corner of Banana and these flashes will blind anyone that is holding from logs as well as anyone that is tucked in towards the broom side. Elige makes a great play breaking open the elbow smoke and he's going to peek late into the break of the smoke. This is a tip for the first player that is going to advance up lane. If you're able to get behind this wall outside of Cheetah, you're going to be able to avoid all the flashes. As you can see, Snacks does not get blind at all. B combo nades from Twist from this back right corner. He throws the B lurk smoke with the left click throw. Then he's going to aim here, run forward, and jump throw for the cave pillar sight Molotov. Sashi rush up banana and look at how Suhi defends his site. Pay particular in the flash that he is going to throw. The flash lands towards the left of this pillar where it's going to not blind him and only the T's. Zaiwu places up close wall position and you'll often see the opera and rifler play in a bait and switch. But here you see that the T's try to walk up close and he can spot the shadow. Very clever CT set from Complexity with Elish Molotoving off a main. Then you see Floppy pushing behind the cover of the Molotov and peeking outside towards water, catching off Jam. The T's won't expect any CT's peeking behind that Molotov. G2 have an insane tactic that involves this Monsi smoke. So he stands at that end of the wall, aim here, then jump throw. This smoke is going to land very fast inside cave. The right smoke was thrown by Snack, which is the standard E-Box smoke that I'll show and he is actually going to use both smokes as cover and walks through them. Here's the first smoke that you saw that landed inside cave thrown from Snacks and then he is going to use his radar and walks through both smokes where he's going to get the entry frag onto the player towards pizza. That Mozzie cave smoke can also be used to pop B which is a tactic G2 also run. Zaiwu has a very cool flash that he throws some stairs for his teammates mid. The flash is going to land as shown here, blinds only the CTs towards the door side and won't affect his teammates as they're going to nade stack window and push through the bridge smoke. Great movement play from Slacks who gets info by making these jumps as well as if there's any CT offers holding these tight angles then he could force them to shoot. Let's take a look at Hauser's POV. You can see he's holding this very tight angle. If Slacks just straight up peeked him, he would have fallen. Had Hauser gone for the shot, you could see how difficult it would have been. I seen you kinda throw this really cool Molotov against Navi from Canal. Stand next to the window of the wall. You're going to aim here, then jump throw. This Molotov is going to land behind the door. 
If you're rotating in from CT towards heaven and you want to stop the plant, all you have to do is throw the Molotov off this top of the wall, it bounces towards the default plant spot. This is your sign to be throwing these ramp flashes, so Yabby is going to throw them at the start of the round, he throws two flashes that land as shown here towards the ramp side, they won't blind his teammates running down yellow, Flamesy is going to get blind by both flashes, however he's going to run through his ramp smoke and is going to recover in time. Chopper smokes off Ivy from short with this right click jump throw, then he's actually going to push Ivy where he is going to walk through his own smoke and he's able to get one before being traded out. This is how Magix goes for the opening pick, he jumps off the left railing down towards the generator side, he gets smoked off, plays anti-flash, and punishes the T for going through the smoke. Check out these insane smokes towards the ramp side from Xiphon who is towards the back of the beam. He's gonna throw two smokes that lands towards the top ramp side. They pair it up with a top ramp smoke. They don't commit anybody here but you can see the idea of making a wall of smokes to possibly get to sandbags. 3D Max are going to rush A with this smoke from Lucky from T Spawn who's top of the sandbag. He's going to aim there, jump throughout the smoke, is going to block off the left side elevator. A very good Molotov you should be throwing from inside yellow is this one for short. It's going to block off anyone holding Ivy as well as anyone pushing through the left elevator smoke. 200 IQ smoke wall by Navi for outside. You will see that Navi's smokes will overlap each other. So this smoke from Alexi B is going to land in front of wonderful smoke right in the middle there. So when the CTs break open the smoke, you can see that the T there has some cover still. Emma is going to wait behind the first smoke where right in the middle where it overlaps the second smoke. So he has full smoke cover, even if phase break the smoke. Sneaky tactic from Navi where JL throws the door lurk smoke. Alexi B is going to throw a smoke towards main that connects the door lurk smoke and JL is going to malt off the nitro wall. He's going to come out through both of the smokes and uses his radar to try to sneak into main but G2 broke open the smoke which allowed them to spot JL otherwise he would have gone unnoticed. FaZe is another team that uses this tactic. If you're coming out onto the lower site and you have a flash still, Throw a flash off the opposite side of the other silo as you entry out as the silo is going to block off the flash when you peek. If the CT smoke off ramp and you want to flash your teammates through it, this is the set lineup. So without moving your mouse, you can see Fall moves over and he's going to throw the flash and his teammates go through the smoke and it's going to blind someone close. If you have trouble dealing with the CT's peeking door from the left side, all you have to do is throw a Molotov at the start of the round and that's going to prevent the CT's from doing so. I am announcing a monthly competition for the best community submit trick, nate, or strategy. The prize is a knife and the winner will be announced at the end of each month on my discord where you can also find information on how to participate. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future tips and tricks and I'll see y'all in the next one.